All right, guys, delighted to be joined by Dustin Brecky over at the Cleveland booth. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. This, Thank is, you. Uh, this is an exciting one. We've just done the, the Strix Online yep. on the woods and the irons uh -huh. and the utilities. I'm really, really keen and interested to hear what's new with Rotex 6. Yeah, Rotex 6, exciting new product. I think the first and foremost thing that's new is our face technology. Right. So we have new HydroZip face technology that is a dynamic blast and laser face milling pattern actually varies through the sets of lofts, and we're trying to maximize spin consistency mm -hmm. and performance out of wet conditions. Right, yeah, I mean, that's that's a huge one that I think customers are now, and consumers are now starting to realize yeah. that we're not trying to maximize performance on the dry lie right. in the middle of the fairway. So few shots are actually played from that position that we need the versatility in all conditions. Absolutely, and I think it's been recognized for quite some time, right? Grooves are there to serve a purpose of, yep. of taking the, uh, the thick rough to taking grass away. But in between that and your dry face, there's right. this whole category of wet conditions that Mark in the last few years has really become aware of the need for mm. that and the opportunity for it. And in some lofts, it's huge. And yeah. they jump and spin in those conditions that's just bringing overall consistency right. to the game is, is making a difference here. I love that. I mean, I think with wedges, at times maybe people get really fixated on the grinds yeah. and what bounce, right. cap that bounce number, when really, you know, so much of, of what's going on here is going to dictate the performance. I mean, we know from a fitting perspective, we love having the options in here, especially yeah. through the new tour rack line that came out with, uh, with Zipcore last time. We love that option to have, you know, the shaping change a right. little bit in those sorts of things. but. To hear you guys focus and really on the contact point right. is great to hear. Yeah, I mean a wedge spin is what you're looking for. Right. So like even in a sole design, in a shape design, like you're looking for consistent performance right. to get consistent head delivery, to get consistent spin, mm. you know, to get carry the distance you want, but to be able to stop at a speed you're looking to stop. Right. Um, spin is the king there in in uh, in wedges. So yeah. uh, absolutely to bring focus to it and to bring it to an area where it's it's a turf condition that you know from a face technology standpoint uh, has been underserved and, and is now you know available here. Right. So is it fair to say with Rotex Six, people will be familiar with the bounce, the the, the low, the X low, the mid and the high. You know we're not seeing a, a, a sort of a revolution on the bottom. We're seeing just just little subtle changes. We're really focused on the face this this time. Yeah, some subtle changes on the sole for mm -hmm. sure um, versus major. Right. Uh, definitely having uh, great reception mm -hmm. on tour in the last generation, continuing, you know, instant putting into play in this right. generation. Um, you know, some refinements to our, our leading edge yep. um, radius there and how that progresses through the set. Right. Um, as well as um, the, yeah, just the overall sole holding to shapes and grinds that are expected. So. Some variation, the 54 and 56 now mm -hmm. have a low plus right. version, so a little more added bounce, but at that same C grind. That's cool. Um, versus the, the lob wedges, 58, 60, still in the low. Right. Um, but yeah, not. I think the the performance there is is maintaining, uh, but making these finer adjustments to just like consistency through the set yeah. or optimization through the set. I think that's that key word, isn't it? The consistency of spin, consistency of launch. Yeah. You know, all those things making the variables, minimizing the variables and making golfers understand their, their true ball flight in all conditions and, and not having, okay, I don't realize why that one went higher and spun a little bit right. less and released, making that right. sort of consistency on, on, on sort of reaction of the golf ball. You've got a couple other ones in your hands yes, there. Yes, I do. You've got CBX Full Face 2. Right. Tell me a little bit about that one. So our CBX line is our, for our average player, game yep. improvement line, right? It's more forgiving, the sole's larger, yep. um, more forgiving on the ground. Um, naturally, forgiveness usually it suggests MOI resistance yeah. rotation, uh, but for wedges and irons, the sole is a big part of that. Right. Like we're trying to make each shot go closer to what a perfect shot is, mm -hmm. and not chunking, not hitting thin. You know, is, is a big part of that. Right. Uh, the full face two is a new offering um, to match in that CBX zip core line that's yep. out there. So this includes the zip core technology, it includes the gel back insert. Um, so just the overall weight distribution um, is, makes us the most forgiving wedge you know, we've ever made in right. the sense of its size, yeah. uh, its sole, um, and that weight optimization. When we look at the market and, and the handicap sort of range, what do you think is the, is the range that should really be looking at a, a CBX type of wedge versus an RTX 6 type of wedge? Yeah, yeah, I think it's, it, it can, 
it can be hard to put it just to a handicap, right? Because at one handicap, sure. their short game sure. versus long game can be point. the struggles. Um, but I would say an RTX wedge is, you know, single digit, 10 and below, probably typically. Yeah. Um, maybe in the lob wedges, you know, somebody's doing a combo set sure. and they're trying to have some more finesse and, and work around the green. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas the CBX full face is, is more of that, you know, five to, to 20, 25. Yeah. Uh, at some point you really get to our super game improvement wedges right. offerings there. But um, so this wedge being a full face, like, and it does have some more, uh, it has a leading edge grind, but also this trailing edge, edge grind. Yeah, like yeah. it is trying to give you some versatility Definitely. for that player that's, you know, toying with it, mm -hmm. right? Like mm -hmm. their confidence maybe isn't there. Um, but this CBX full face has our largest face ever right. from a striking zone yep. standpoint. So the grooves naturally go across the full face. Mm -hmm. Hydra zip technology is on the entire face. Um, but for this player to be able to hit those shots out of, you know, around the green, open face, yep. um, hit all the different conditions, it's, it's giving him that forgiveness and that extra boost to confidence to kind of go for it and yep. try it and want to, you know, put the offering in play. Love that. How many, uh, or what's your distribution on your customers who look at full face versus sort of a standard groove pattern? What was that yeah. look like? I think what's what's exciting is the the amount of customer base that's interested and willing to sure. get into a full face. Yeah. So I'm not sure the distribution that's out there already, yeah. but the opportunity is there. Right. And to be able to bring that, you know, we already have an RTX full face version sure. out there. Um, this bringing zip core mm -hmm. and the hydro zip to replace the current or previous CBX full face. Yeah. Uh, is just packing it with more technology, but the market's taking off for it. Like yeah. the um, the availability, the the fear, if you will, of you know looking down at it being off putting. Um, that's not the large percentage of group that you know it might have been perceived to be. Like right. there's a there's a majority. There's half or more that are either interested, willing, or, you know, don't care yeah. if the grooves go all the way to the end. So right. like, it's a very, you know, the opportunity is there. It's options, isn't it? It's options for it's golfers, options. Yeah. regardless of what your preference is on a gap wedge, a sand wedge, a lob wedge, a pitching wedge, potentially, yeah. you know, having the, the ability to have a little bit of mixture of just what works for right. you. How exciting is it for you to have the, the, the new partnership with Arcus? You know, getting that data into the golfer's hands where they can evaluate yeah. their game and their performance, you know, with the scoring right. clubs. I think, I mean, I think fitting's huge. Yeah. And I think knowing your game, knowing your data, learning, yeah. like, you know, that's the path to improvement. Right. Um, so having product offerings, having, mm. you know, different balance offerings, like understanding this product, knowing what product to buy. But then of course, yeah, on that side, bringing in the, the course data, the, right. you know, the data management there, the ability to learn from it, some of the tools that they have built sure. in. Um, it's all stacking on top of each other to, you yeah. know, really make a difference in like, me specifically, what do I need on the course to make a difference from a product and from a from a practice yeah. standpoint? So yeah, I think it's really exciting. Dustin, thank you for the rundown. Uh, it's really exciting. There's I feel like there's more products than ever before in, in the sort of wedge you know, segment yeah. of our of our market. And I think that's nothing but a great thing because it leads people into how do I make a decision? Well we know you get fit. Right? Yeah. That's what we want to drive people in to do is to be fit for them figure out what it, what you need specifically, whether you need a little bit of a blend of CBX into Rotex with right. the, the more lofted clubs, you just never know unless you try it. Yeah, and it's 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 really fun that to have all these options, especially in wedges, it's not a full set. Right. You know, you can you can match and you can hit the shots and the, um, the products you're trying to do. But, love it, love hey, it. Thank you very much. Dustin, thank you so much. Guys, really excited to get these back into the store, get, in them, uh, get them in Matty's hands, get some numbers. Um, really keen to, to run through the different models that Dustin and I have just kind of chatted through there and delivered to you guys the subtleties that we might see in certain grinds and bounds, you know, the little, uh, whether it's full face when we open it and get it in bunkers and things like that. So really keen to get, you know, back to studio and also get outdoors yeah, and get in is. different conditions and, uh, and do that testing. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned, we'll see you again soon.